Hello to all you BC residents. This is the practitioner, uh, my stage name. Um, I am, um, for those of you who may know me locally, um, you'll know me as the, uh, uh, again, uh, I should introduce myself again. Um, I'm the practitioner, Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, um, magician, para, um, magician, parapsych researcher, and um, so, uh, skeptical agnostic, uh, ske uh, sorry, technical agnostic, Fortean skeptic, ex-political science student, and um, currently the head of uh, the Students with Disability Director on the Camosun College Student Society. Um, I should clarify for people uh, in case they're wondering about this. Um, I attend a community college, but I also attend a university in Alberta. Um, I'm attending two institutions simultaneously as that's uh, my way of trying to avoid the local university, which has issues uh, for giving people with disabilities uh, accommodations. Anyway. Uh, that's my own personal thing. So like I said, I am a Bachelor of Science student at Athabasca University, chemistry major. I'm taking courses at my local college and transferring them back over. So it's um, technically I'm at both institutions simultaneously. Anyway, uh, my goal, my job at Camosun College, um, which I've been working at, is that I am now the um, Students with Disability Director there. And some information has come to my attention. Uh, for BC residents, uh, for residents of British Columbia, Canada, um, this is uh, particularly important for you. Um, and especially for those of you who are students in British Columbia who may not know yet. Um, it's come to my attention that very recently, uh, well, like within the last week or so, maybe even less, um, Gordon Campbell's government has uh, approved a 2.6% cutback in funding, in, in provincial funding, to universities and colleges province-wide. Um, this means that uh, colleges are now, uh, and because of the fact that there has been a cap on tuition rates, um, one of Campbell's attempts to prevent, uh, 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 so, uh, one of Campbell's attempts to prevent uh, students from being gouged, uh, you know, from being gouged out of their pockets and uh, and uh, and being, uh, you know, being put in the poorhouse in order to get a uh, post-secondary education, um, because of this. That means that colleges are now having to cut back on services that they would normally provide. This would include shutting down classes which have the least amount of pe uh, people in them but could be necessary to people's majors, shutting down academic advising, financial aid, disability capabilities, and uh, basically all services that colleges and the like provide. For people who are local to Victoria, British Columbia, um, and uh, for those, um, I should mention what this is actually going to do for Camosun College. Uh, this is just for where I am, and I'm going to give you the disability perspective. The actual an analysis, um, there's another member of the board who has the full technical details, and as soon as I've got his email, I will give you his contact info. Uh, I will put it up in the summary here, and I will update this video um, with, the, with the summary. Uh, sorry, with the, um, the email, so this way you can email him to get all the uh, data. Um, this should be coming out in the news sometime soon anyways. We're already trying to uh, do everything possible to get this into the mainstream news um, because of the fact that we just heard about this. Uh, basically, we heard this from the, uh, basically what it is, is that um, we got wind of this, thankfully, from the co uh, from our own college, who was saying that they were going to have to do these cutbacks. They weren't doing it to plead on the, to get us to plead on their behalf. They were notifying us that we were going to be uh, that they, we were going to be losing services, and there was nothing we could do about it. As students, this gravely concerns us. This directly affects us because we will lose services and the like. Um, let me explain what the, what's happening. For Camo, uh, again, as I said, the provincial government, uh, the provincial government has um, has basically stated that there will be a 2.6 uh, percent cutback in funding that comes from prevent from the provincial government to universities. They provide a partial uh, funding tuition it makes up for the rest of it in grants, of course, and donations and the like, uh, being the minor the minor third contributor. This means for Camosun College that we lose 2.5 million dollars that we could use to run the college next year. This means that the college is now running a deficit. Now, um, for Camosun College, uh, they're trying something a little bit sneaky. This is unique specifically for Camosun College. Uh, this is not this is not for the entire. Uh, this is what one of the ministries is doing, and it's been a contradiction within the system. Um, for the overall, it means that there's going to be a 2.6 percent drop. So, BC residents, you need to be aware that there is a severe cut. There is there is going to be a substantial cut coming to various different universities and stuff like that. And uh, what with already high tuition rates and the fact that they can't really charge much more than that, owing to the uh, to the tuition caps, which prevent them from you know from to uh, which prevent tuition prices from inflating in order to compensate for this. Um, 
This means that if you go to a public university, you will be suffering from a cutback of services and classes possibly within the next year, uh, two or three, if nothing is done about this. So if I were you, I would go talk to your local student societies about this, get as much information as you possibly can on this, and do, you know, do everything in your power. Get petitions out there, do anything and everything to get the, uh, to get, uh, you know, get everybody in your riding to understand that this means a, you know, this means a cut for students, um, which means an overall, you know, if services and classes are going to start to go for students, it's going to make life harder for students to be able to attend post-secondary education. This will also mean that it's going to be more difficult for them to continue their majors because they won't know which classes they need to take. It will be more difficult. Uh, registration will eventually have to shut down too. Those who have uh, issues with financial aid will be unable to attend um, because uh, you know will be um, it will make it harder for them because of the fact there will be limited hours, which may conflict with their class schedule or with work. Um, thus, meaning they can't reapply for uh, for student loans or the like. Or uh, you know, or for the for the aid from the college to be able to continue uh, their post secondary education, this means an overall um, an overall um, degradation in the net education of British Columbia. In the net, uh, this means an overall less educated population. Now we don't know by how much the percentages would vary from college to college, from place to place, but overall it means a less educated system. This would also mean that there are um, we already have a labor shortage in British Columbia as it is. Um, do we need do we really need a less educated population to make um, you know making the demand for skilled laborers even higher? Do we really need to exacerbate that situation? Anyway, you get my point. Now for Camosun College, uh, what this means is that the um, is that we have 1.9 million now um, coming in. Uh, we had a 2.5 do billion dollar uh, sorry million dollar cut um, for the overall total running of the college, and this is what's ironic about what the Gordon Campbell government did. They provided us, uh, Camosun, with another $1.9 million to go specifically to nursing, trades, and aboriginal seats. This means that this money is not going for the, that basically means that in terms, and, and this, is, this money is to be specifically earmarked for new seats, which means that even with these new seats, the overall college is still going to suffer. And as a person with a disability, um, as a, as a uh, having Asperger's syndrome, and as also being the representative for students with disabilities at my local call at the at Camosun College, this presents an even worse problem in light of the fact that uh, amongst services that eventually will have to be cut, the Disability Resource Center will also have its hours go, and this will mean uh, less time and money. Uh, there will be less money available, meaning less hours for people to actually get um, double ha uh, time and a half or double time on their exams. Um, when writing, which means uh, scribing will also be uh, cutting back. This will mean that students will get worse marks on their court, on their uh, on their uh, on their stuff, say for illegibility or for other reasons. Again, worse marks due to um, accommodations not being as available for their disability. Um, it could mean a drop in their GPA, which means inability to transfer to other institutions. Um, you know, uh, you know, a, a lesser capability to transfer to other institutions, I should say, or making it more difficult for them in the workplace. Um, again, it may not even it may be it may only vary by a letter grade or even like a, a few percent for some, but for others uh, such as myself who has a scribing issue, um, it could mean the difference between a pass or fail in some classes. Um, you know, it varies from case you know particularly for mathematics classes. Um, now, in my particular case, um, I've got you know I've got extra aids and the like, but you know I'm I'm lucky. You know, not not so not too many of my fellow dis uh, disabled students are so fortunate. Um, you know, uh, this can create. Um, I mean, you know, this this creates some severe problems overall for people, and I guess my point is is that uh, now that I'm aware of this, it's it's almost hypocritical for the government to do this. Uh, it's sneaky, and it's also hypocritical for the government to provide more seats for Aboriginals, at least for my local college, and then be w but be willing to take out money uh, to run the overall college, which means a degradation for students with disabilities. They probably aren't aware of the hypocrisy, but it's a hypocrisy nonetheless. Of course, that is a two-quote -quay fallacy, and I can't technically quote that. But my point being is that uh, this is unfair, and it is uh, you know it's it's a stupid move by the government, and it's one that is unfair, I unjust, and um, people. If you want, uh, if you, um, I would strongly, strongly suggest trying to get as much information about this as possible, and students. If you don't want to get affected by this, please do everything in your power. Talk to your local student societies, get petitions going, whatever it takes to get this issue into the public, talking to the public about the necessity for, uh, for funding for the uh, colleges to get the funding back that we originally had, 
and uh, in the hopes that we might be able to uh, continue our educations. Let's fight the, this, shall we?